Who wants to run through an actual combat in NATO Division Commander? Because it's really freaking cool. So, uh, the these guys here, the 469th Armored uh, Battalion, are tasked with attacking uh, this um, BTR Battalion here, which is at full strength, six steps. And these guys have six steps as well. And i use a pen so I don't uh, block out half the screen. Uh, the first move we made was we brought up uh, the 168th to the rear here and settled down in the woods and got all cozy and they're in tactical mode. They could have participated or they could have attacked if they wanted to. Uh, but I thought that under a quick assessment that a hasty attack with a plus five on attack will have uh, a better chance of being really destructive on this. So we're just using the zones of control here to prevent retreat. And so what happens is you go through all, you look at the, the relative uh, combat strengths of the two units. So seven versus ugh, five on defense is plus two. And that's your baseline uh, of adjustment. And then we go through and we look at uh, surprise and that's the uh, intel level for each side uh, in this uh, particular combat. So what, what do they have on each other? And it, to, uh, the Soviets are two and these guys are four because their intel level is better <clears throat> in this particular instance. So that gives them a plus four shift, which is pretty big. And I'm going to check to make sure that's accurate. But in the end, it won't matter, which you'll see. There's a terrain benefit for the uh, Soviets. They're in woods, so we subtract two. The TO levels, the strength levels are the same, actually, uh, both at six, so there's no adjustment there. And there's no adjustment for leaders. Both of their leaders suck equally. Uh, the weather is a plus two because it's precipitation, and so that's going to benefit the attacker, not the defender, which is an interesting change. Uh, most games, it would be a benefit to the defender if the, tr if the weather was bad. But in these games and in this time, uh, that's what the uh, thinking is uh, from the designers here, which I, I kind of I can agree with. I, I like that. Uh, adjacency, I get plus two because I got this guy adjacent. And in fact, uh, this guy, so it should be plus four. So that it would negate uh, that. Um, so that's good. Uh, and then uh, I can't read my writing. We subtract two for something. Crap, I can't remember. Anyway, if you were keeping track of all that, that is uh, something over and above a, a um, uh, 13 or 12. That's so it's like a plus 13 thereabouts. When you get that high up and you get over plus seven, you go to the overrun table and then you roll the dice. Now, uh, once you once you get to plus 12 or better, it's an automatic overrun. And so this guy has to retreat and take two step losses. So he would go down to a four. Ah, but we've got his own control here. He can't retreat. So now he doubles his losses. So he takes an additional two steps losses. So he's down to two steps of strength. So we've destroyed 66% of the Soviet menace in this hex. And that, my friends, and we put an engage marker on it, which means he can't go anywhere for the time being. So it's going to bog up this whole area. And it's awesome. He also will not really have the ability to do much in terms of attacking back because we did such a good job on attacking in attacking him. The only way that this unit is going to get out of here is either in a body bag or if the, the Soviets convert some of these other forces, which you can't see that they're out of picture, to relief insertion mode. where uh, And these guys convert to relief insertion mode and they basically swap positions. It's a difficult maneuver. It does not add uh, any benefit uh, for defense or for um, attack. And it's going to put them at a lot of risk here. So the Soviets are probably just going to let that unit die and work on trying to uh, do something uh, along the road here. However, it is now the uh, 228's uh, opportunity to attack. And they are going to attack this unit here because it has the weakest leadership uh, capability. Um, and as the umpire, I know that. You didn't know that, but that's what's going to happen. So... Uh, so far, the uh, initial counterattack is going uh, swimmingly well for the 1-8. The 1st Brigade of the 8th Division 
and that's all I can show you there. Otherwise, we give away uh, what, what's going on on the rest of the map. So that is a combat. Now, I could have used uh, additional air support or artillery support to reinforce that attack, but we, I knew that we weren't going to need to do that. So we'll do that in the next attack, and if you're interested, I'll post that up as well. Talk to you soon.